Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting green to episode 2 of season 2 of Kuma Bears. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Come on, you gotta get up! I know, but you said you were gonna do it. <laughs> oh, Fina. <laughs> <laughs> I know that feeling. It's like, uh, when me on vacation mode and then the fact that I gotta go back to work and actually I'm like, oh, like, yes, I can stay up and wake up at whatever time I want to, but next week I gotta go back to bed at a certain time and wake up at a certain time. Like, uh, uh I don't, I'm not ready for that. No. I mean, you know, she happy in her own way, too, even though she ain't want to get up. <laughs> right. I'm guessing really far. 
Oh, okay. Two days away. All right. Perfect. Uh, never mind. Four or five days. <laughs> no, it's just them themselves. <laughs> just smaller. That's an academy. That look more like a freaking college than an academy. Maybe. So two girls and two boys. She knows her stuff. I mean, I get it. You want to be smart and you want to be safe, but she, you not can do this. Mm hmm. No, I don't think so. Why? It's fine, we knew this was gonna happen. Ah. Basically cheating. Like, you know, sleeping up on the ranks. Right. <laughs> so did you even get left with anything?
She has a name. <laughs> right. If only Fino is here. <laughs> too, but gotta rough it. Oh, I would still sleep, but you know, sleep and watches. You still got to be a part of the shift just as much. the heck are they mowing the lawn when it's cold and wet outside? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus. 
Seriously, it's the worst time to mow the lawn. And plus, where we are, we have nothing but dirt. I would. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but then there'll be more on your side. To hold on! <laughs> And we don't need goblins coming up on y'all. Yes, the bears, bears. Huh. You're surprised about that now? Yeah, but see, if Yuna didn't say anything, they definitely would have been ambushed. Kid, I swear. Got something you want to say? <laughs> oh, that's good. Alicia's an ass all the time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> huh. Right? <laughs> It's okay.
True, yeah. Stop, I can't, oh my god! <laughs> My ship, oh my god! <laughs> Goblin, Goblin. Ooh. Um, a, a wolf eating goblin, a bear eating goblin. Okay, whatever it is, we ain't going down till next week. But okay, um, part one of this escort training trip and such, or really, really training trip, not really an escort training trip. Um, it's not that bad. It's really good. I mean, you know, just hate the kid in the, with the red head. You know, he he acting like a cinderay, but you know, I I get it. I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Like, yes, like, but dang, kid, like. <laughs> oh, God, he just reminds me. <laughs> Excuse me, he reminds me of, like, every type of kid that I used to know in, like, elementary school who would be a little, and you just would be like, will you shut up? <laughs> And I get it. Yuna does not want to do this. She does not want to be on this mission for a training for, you know, a group of four kids and stuff. Even though she knows one out of the four, she'd rather be at home. I get her. Because, like, yeah, that's me at work. Like, maybe an hour or two after I'm at work, I'm like, I want to go home. I don't want to be here. Like, oh, my God, I'm tired. I want to go home and sleep. <laughs> but it was sweet. I mean, honestly, yes, I hate the fact that, you know, He's very, mm, he feels a certain type of way about Yuna. And he, I think in a way, he kind of just doesn't feel like it's necessary to have Yuna a part of the group as like their escort just in case something happens. But the biggest thing is everybody in each and every single group had to have someone go on them with this mission and such because just in case something happens. Yes, with the situation of the goblins or anything else worse, aka the thing that ate the goblin, that is the worst thing. And who knows what the heck that could be. Yes, it could be a bear. Um, I don't think it'll be the bears that we met last week. This could be a bear that we've never truly like seen before. Um, so that could really go like any way next week. But I mean he he makes me feel some type of way because he's like oh, okay well no like i want to thank you but not really you i want to thank your bears for helping us to like locate that there were five goblins in the front of us and that we had to go ahead and like take them down like yuna didn't really do anything she's literally letting these kids do everything all on their own so that they can be independent so that they don't only really always have to rely on her yuna is like the only only time where it's like yes uh, okay, so I can compare this like this. Okay, so at my job, I've been working there for about a year. 
um, we can say almost we're at the halfway point of two years. So anyone who comes in and who does not know everything, they're always coming to me if they need help. Yes, they go to my manager as well, but typically, you know, nine out of 10, they're always coming to me for help and such. And so it's like, you know, 50 out of 50 between me and him, I'm usually the one who gets final say because he'd rather have my opinion on it than his. So, you know, having someone who actually does not really know anything about this, but then eventually when they get into like, oh, vast knowledge, a little bit more so that, you know, they can use the same lessons that I taught them to someone else, but still having that like, oh, hey, like, hey, I got a question. Is this right? Is that right? Like, yeah, you, you only use me when it is really necessary or ask me to help for help when it is necessary. Like if it's something that you really can't figure out and that you think you have right on your own, that's when I'm supposed to come in and such. But there's nothing wrong with asking for help. And I think because of the way he is as a character, he wants to do everything on his own. Well, right now you're in a situation where you can't do everything on your own. You have to have help with other people. So bam, regardless, you want to be pissed. Yeah, go ahead and be a little, you know, pissy somewhere else. We ain't got time for that. We are here for a mission. You want to pass a grade, right? So, you know, you got to get your ish done. Just don't worry about it. But yeah, I'm not surprised that, um, she is friend. Uh, guess the fact is that Yuna and her knew each other before. It, it was very obvious that it was going to pop up. If it wasn't going to pop up in this episode, it was going to happen in episode three. So I'm glad it kind of happened now. But yes, no, you know, we just got to keep that secret so the boys don't find out. So hopefully, fingers crossing, next week that does not come up. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode two of season two of Kuma Bear. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Monday when I come home from work for episode three. Bye guys!